Good evening, y'all, and we're back in the sewing room again. And Lord have mercy, I have cloth everywhere. But I'm going to show y'all first the Christmas fabrics that I have available. And then I'll do like I did before. I'll put uh, snapshots with the numbers on them. This is the Christmas uh, fabric. And then I'm going to do, probably with alphabet, ABCs, just the regular fabrics in case you're wanting some for gifts. I need to have the orders in as soon as possible to make sure that the mail gets them to you uh, by the date that you need them. So I'm going to start out, and I've kind of got them all numbered here on my book. This fabric is uh, has a Thomas Kincaid border. I have enough of this to make two aprons. So it's whoever messages me first that they would want the Thomas Kincaid. Okay, the next one is the soft toile that I showed y'all before. I have enough of this left for two aprons. The next one I love, and there's enough of this for three. It's like blackboard fabric and the writing is in gold. It's very pretty. The next one, I have enough of the gingerbread boy for two. Or boy or girl or gingerbread cookies. Very good for a cookie swap or something like that. Then I have a plaid with Scotty dogs on it and I have enough for two of this one. Not your traditional red and green, but it's a very nice fabric with the little bitty Scotty dogs all over it. And I have this one that I showed you before, and I have enough for five aprons. And this is the duck cloth, the poinsettia, just your traditional Christmas fabric. And then I have this Scotty dog that's a border print. So it has them all up and down. The same thing. It's a repeat as you go down. I have enough of this for four. <clears throat> then I have this one. And I'm not sure. I don't think I measured on this one. I've probably got enough for like, it's a snowman border. It's blue with white polka dots. And I probably have five or six of this one. Maybe a little bit more. I didn't measure that one out. I have the little red Christmas truck. And I have enough of it for three. And I have enough of this one with the little church on it for two. Snowy fills with the little churches on it. The snowman on cream, I have enough for four. This is really cute. And then I have two different ones with words on it. And each one of these I have enough for two. One of them is just the red with white words. Just says Christmas, Feliz Navidad, all the ways that you pronounce Christmas. Then this one has some black and gray words with it. Joy, happy, peace. So you can choose which one of those you would want. I love words. I talk a lot of them, so obviously I love them. Uh, the green candy canes. I have enough of this for two. And this is just holly leaves with candy canes and red berries. Two. I have enough of the Christmas toile for one, maybe two. 
and that's a different toile than the one a while ago. Uh, winter birds. <coughs> while I'm going. This is Winter Birds on Blue and I have enough for three or four of this one. This is pretty because it could be used after Christmas just in the winter. And then I have this one that is one of my favorites but I don't have a whole lot of it. It's the duck cloth with just the black on the off-white. In just a minute, I think I have enough for four of that one. I'll have to look. Uh, three. Three of that one. I'm calling that Christmas on the farm. I have enough of this snowman fabric for one. And this is the blackboard snowman. I have enough for one left. Can't get any more. I've tried. So, the black snowman, one. I have one more Christmas. And this is a Debbie Mum design, and I have enough of this for two. Now I'm going to start on what I'm saying is just for gifts. I'm going to try to bring this over here closer so I won't have to walk so far. Now I'm going to start on just fabric. I'm just going to tell y'all, I have plenty of the, um, this is the one I showed y'all last time. I've got plenty of this one. I've got plenty of the roosters on the blue fabric. This one, I have lots of that left so if you're interested in those and I have plenty of the yellow with the red chickens on it okay so now A and I'll have it layered a uh, letter identified in the pictures this is just a coffee fabric with coffee cups words it's a neat one I have enough of that for two aprons the brown coffee I have enough for three The blackboard look with the coffee on it, four. This is um, has all kinds of fruit and vegetables. It says mason jar, garden to table, and it's very colorful and pretty. I have enough of that for four. And this is just another farm scene. I have enough of this. For three, very colorful. It has everything you could want on the farm in it. Some of them look wrinkled because I wash and dry them. This one is a duck cloth. And it is so cute. I have enough for five. It has roosters and pigs and cows. And it's a llama or alpaca one. I'm not sure. But it's a duck cloth. It's very cute. This is a duck cloth that has all of your uh, vegetables on it. You have enough of this for five aprons. Some of it I might could get some more, but I'm not really sure. Okay, I have a little bit of this Route 66 duck cloth. Enough for two aprons. This is a cool fabric that I found. It's black and white cows but it's in the black and gray has some pigs on it 
a little bit of script that doesn't say anything, a sheep, a rooster. This is a neat, and it's a good weight. It's a duck cloth. And there's enough of that for probably three aprons. This is just a good, nice cotton fabric. I have enough for three. It has chickens and roosters and loose feathers on it. This is just cherries on beige. This is a duck cloth uh, weight. There's two, enough for two of these. Then I have a softer fabric that's red cherries on black. I love this one. And I have enough for four. Just to give y'all an idea. Um, this is what I'm calling Paris Roosters. I have enough for three of this one. It's neat. It has script with just your roosters on it. This is one that I got. I don't know where I got it, and I only have enough for one apron. Probably got it for me, but if somebody wants it, I'll be glad to make an apron and sell it. Just enough for one. This is, a, this is one of the neatest fabrics. I will have one out of this. This is duck cloth, but it has your herbs on it. Can you see? Bay and rosemary and chives, sage, parsley, dill, basil. It's just neat. Fennel, thyme, oregano, tarragon, coriander, parsley. It has it all listed. And I have quite a bit of this one. I have enough for, I think, six. And I think I can get more of that one. This one is um, Old Timey Tractors. And I have enough for three. It has tractors and your shovel and your pitchfork and your wheelbarrow. Just country stuff. This one is just totally different, but it's fabric that I've had on hand and I absolutely love it. And it's yellow with uh, rosebuds all over it. There's enough of that for probably four. Then I have watermelon fabric watermelon seed and I have enough of this for four I have enough of this one for four it's very colorful it's like folk art has all of your farm stuff on it but it's in a folk art type setting I like it I like the colorful I like it four okay this one is um, bicycles and I have enough for two. Isn't that just cute? I love it. This one is just lemons on black. I have enough for two and I can probably get more of this one. This one is uh, it says lemon verbena. Let me turn it right side up here. I have enough of this for one lemonade you know one cup of water and one cup of sugar and the juice of six lemons and then add four cups of cold water kind of has your recipe on it has everything about lemon on it then i have uh, some folk art looking colorful chickens on black and there's enough of this for two i'll have them numbered where y'all be able to know which one is which I have enough for two aprons of this Victorian looking uh, postcard. It has little Victorian kids and all on it. I don't know how much you can see. It's very pretty. Yeah, it's right side up. Enough for two yards of that. I mean, two aprons in that one. And I have this one that's Victorian vintage bee, beehives and all. I have enough of this one for probably four. It has your bees on it, a little bit of drawn-in honeycomb and the hives. It's a really neat fabric, and it's duck cloth. So that's another one. And then again, I think I've already told you, but I have plenty of the this rooster duck cloth and then the blue rooster duck cloth. So that'll give y'all, and I have others, but I'm just telling you what, 
Let's use these and then I'll show the others at another time. But you have enough to choose from for gifts for people or for a gift to yourself or to wear during Christmas. But I need your orders as soon as possible where I can get them made and mailed to where if the mail slows down, you'll be able to get them on time. They've been getting there in like three days or four. But uh, as people start mailing more for Christmas, I don't know what's going to happen. So get your orders in as soon as you can, and that way I can get them made and in the mail, and we'll all be happy. I wanted to show you all the kitchen boa. I'm going to have to move the camera back. It's the kitchen boa that I'm going to be making. It just fits around your neck and it has a hand towel at, at each end. That way you've got your rags handy to wipe your hands or to get a hot pot out of the stove or whatever. And I can make this part the color that you want it to match your kitchen and then tell me what color towels you want. And they're $25 each. Now the aprons <clears throat> are just the same as what I showed you the last time. This is the regular apron. The loop just slips over your head. You tie it. Adjust it a little bit if it needs to go back some. And this is just the regular apron. And then I have the one that uh, is the chef's adjustable chef's apron. And I'm going to show y'all. This is one that I made for a girl that's coming to pick it up. But I'm going to use it as a demonstration. This just goes over your neck, your head, and then you pull the ties up until you get it to fit you. So it could fit a, you know, different heights of people or different sizes, and then you just tie your strap. And when you get ready to pull it off, scoot it down some, and get it over your head and put it up. If you're going to launder it, I would recommend that you take the straps out. They're easy to feed back in with a, using a safety pin to stick them through the safety pin to feed them back through the channel that I've created uh, to hold them. So that's the two. The chef style that's adjustable or the regular style apron and then the boas is what I'm going to be making. So I need to get your orders where I can get them out in a timely manner for Christmas.